Hey busy bees! First, before we start talking about this week's episode, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your awesome comments on our last video, the cooking video with my mom. Oh my gosh, we both read all of your comment and just felt so like heartfelt and we loved it. And the best thing about that video for me was to learn about your inspiration and your strong foundation. Like we're all so different that our upbringing and the way that our parents like taught us how to cook and everything is so similar which is really cool anyways i just wanted to say thank you for all of your wonderful comments and it meant so much to me all right now moving on to our episode for this week there's nothing better than a steaming hot latte to get us through the last few weeks of these winter months so i'm gonna show you five super hella easy lattes and since it's March we have March Madness we have St. Patty's Day we're gonna be making a matcha mint latte and for our second one because Girl Scout cookie sales are over and I need something to tie me over for the rest of the year we're gonna make a Samoa inspired latte the third one is a healthy and warming drink it's a golden milk or turmeric latte the fourth one is a quick orchata latte. And finally, something that I've been enjoying for the past few months of my pregnancy, a London Fog Latte. If you guys love lattes, please give this video a big thumbs up. I have a bum thumb right here. And don't forget to subscribe below and we'll go ahead and get started with our matcha mint latte. All right, in a medium saucepan, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one and a half cups of soy milk. I love soy milk with my matcha latte, but any milk will do. A great one would be coconut milk or regular milk would be good too. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take two sprigs of mint and let it steep and come to a boil for about five minutes. Then I'll pull it off heat and set it aside. I always like to leave some mint leaves in my cup to get that extra flavor. Or if you want some more minty flavor, steep it with three to four sprigs and just let it simmer on warm for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, in my mug, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of matcha powder with about one tablespoon of hot water. And then I'll just give it a good mix, let the powder dissolve. And then I'll just fill my glass up with our steamed mint milk. That's it, give it a good stir. And let's give it a try. Mm. The mint flavor is really subtle and the matcha flavor is earthy and delicious and this drink just has a very like light sweetness to it that I love. All right, now let's move on to our next drink that's inspired by a famous Girl Scout cookie that's actually my favorite, the Samoas with chocolate, caramel, and coconut. In a mug, I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of chocolate syrup, perfect. Then I'll add in a nice drizzle of caramel sauce. And now I'm gonna work on my coffee. In my coffee grinder, I'll add in about two tablespoons of coffee beans. Close it and grind it up. I'm looking for a coarse grind here because that's what we need for our filter. I'll put my Vietnamese coffee filter right on the glass. Add about a tablespoon of coffee grounds. Tamp it down. Add some hot water and let my espresso brew. These Vietnamese coffee filters are so convenient and I love how it's portable. My dad used to bring it everywhere with him and I remember growing up, every morning I would wake up to the smell of like freshly brewed coffee in his Vietnamese coffee filter that he would make Vietnamese coffee with. Memories. Drip, drip, drip. Once it's done, I'll just remove my Vietnamese coffee filter and then I'll add in some already steamed hot coconut milk. Give it a good stir. And now to top it, I'm gonna add some whipped cream. A nice drizzle of caramel sauce, just like the cookie. Some chocolate syrup. And of course, you know I have to have some coconut flakes for some texture and crunch. That tasted like the real thing, and I think it'll tie me over until they start selling next year. Oh, what a girl can do. 
All right, our next drink is a warming good for you latte, the golden milk, AKA turmeric latte. It has a lot of warming spices with just a hint of sweetness. All right, first in my saucepan, I'll add one and a half cups of coconut milk, one teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a pinch or about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cardamom, and an eighth of a teaspoon or a pinch of nutmeg. I'll give it a good stir, let all the flavors come together, and the milk turns into this beautiful golden color. Let it simmer for a bit, and then I'll add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, continue whisking, and that's it. I'll pour the golden milk into my mug. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I get all the spices at the bottom. And just to give it a hint of sweetness, I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. I'll give it a good stir just to mix it all together. That's it, super easy, right? And let's give this baby a try. So I first found out about turmeric latte or golden milk about a year ago when turmeric was like the spice of the year and it's so good. It's great for soothing inflammation and I just feel good drinking it. All the warm spices is nice and cozy so you guys should definitely give this a try. Now on to my next drink, which is a quick horchata latte. Now I know this is not like the typical way that you make horchata, but it's easy for those mornings where you're just craving that rich rice milky flavor. In a saucepan, I'll add in one tablespoon of cane sugar, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, an actual stick of cinnamon, and one and a half cups of rice milk. I'll mix it all together and I'll let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the flavors could really meld. Now I'll just remove my cinnamon stick and take the milk off heat. Orchata is typically made with real rice soaked overnight with water and cinnamon. So if you guys want to learn how to make it the authentic way, I'll post the full recipe on my blog. Now in my mug, I'm just going to put my Vietnamese filter right on top, spoon in about a tablespoon of coffee grounds shake it up to even it out and then I'll tamp it down and add some hot water. So I've actually used this Vietnamese coffee filter on a lot of my other latte videos and you guys always ask where can I find this thing? Well I actually got mine at the local Asian market but you can actually find it on Amazon. If you guys are interested I'll put the link in the description box below. Drip drip drip. It'll take about five minutes for this to finish. Nice, strong brew. Once it's done, I'm just gonna add in my flavored rice milk, AKA horchata, and then I'll just top it with some whipped cream, a dash of cinnamon, and decorate it with that extra stick of cinnamon that we had earlier. Ah, oh, this looks like the perfect morning drink. This looks like such a treat. Let's give it a try. It has a super cinnamony flavor and the rice milk is smooth and sweet. It's so good and such a treat. All right, moving on to our last one, which again, like I said, I've been enjoying this for the last few months of my pregnancy. And also, if you guys are wondering why I'm drinking coffee, it's actually okay. You can drink up to 220 milligrams of caffeine or coffee a day. So I only drink a little bit of this, but it's our Earl Grey and Lavender Latte, AKA the London Fog. Here in my tea filter, I'm just gonna add about two teaspoons of loose leaf Earl Grey tea and about an eighth of a teaspoon of lavender buds. Pretty, right? Just close it up. And then in my mug, I'll add in one teaspoon of sugar, about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, add my tea filter, and then pour in hot water just enough so that it covers the filter. I'll let it steep for about five minutes to really extract the flavor. And then I'll just remove the tea filter. Finally, I'll top off my mug with some steamed milk. Get that foam in there. Ah, perfect. I already 
love Earl Grey flavors in basically everything, but the addition of vanilla and lavender just sends us over the top. It's actually quite soothing on a cold blistering day, governor. <laughs> Which lattes would you guys try first? And are there any other lattes that you guys love that I should know about? Be sure to comment below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! If you guys love lattes and want to check out more, not to worry, I have a whole coffee break series, but check out my fall lattes one and two. just like the real thing. Oh, what a girl can do. <laughs>